Hello everyone, this is Roy the King. In this video, I would like to show how to use Firebase Cloud Message. Here is Firebase Console and iOS and Android. I type some text to send a message. The iOS and Android get a cut a message. And Android to iOS. Type some message to send the iOS. It's working good. How about iOS to Android? Type some text and click send a message to Android button. It's one code for both platforms. Let's see how it works and setting. Please watch this video to make a Firebase environment. Find Firebase Cloud message in pub.dv site. And add this package in pubspec file. And also, we have to find the HTTP package because we have to send the message from the device. Then click package get button. Back to the Firebase Cloud. We have to setting something. So go to the Android app src main android manifest.xml. Add this code between activity tag to use float notification then you have to add the firebase message library in build.grad and I also integration you have to setting this first We have to set up something in Apple Developer Site. So create the authentication key. Here you go. Click this button and click keys to make the key for notification. Then press this button. And add a key name and check a APNS and continue and register. You have to download this key to use later. It's really important. You you can't download it just once. And dump button, dump button, and we have to make the create an app ID to push some notification. So click ID identifier and plus button. And continue and bundle ID from the Xcode project and description just like the name MID name. So bundle ID here and copy and paste and check push notification. Uh, yeah, right here and continue and register. And last one, we have to create the provisioning profile for device or debugging and profile and plus button and check iOS app development because I will use the iPhone and you have to choose the app ID that you have already made so check it and continue and yeah check all and continue and just add the profile name that's it and you have to download it and install it and you have to change some option in the xcode right here so click signing capacity and uncheck automatically managing scene and then change the provisioning profile after that you have to upload to firebase setting 
go to project overview and click project setting and click cloud messaging section and click upload you know what you already downloaded the, the certification so select the certificate and you have to enter the two ids the key id from the app developer right here so copy your key and then this team id from here for identifier right here you have to paste each text to the text field and upload and open the app code in the fruit of project to allow permission click the capabilities and find notification and background mode I already added this here and check this, this box background mode and remote notification go to the app delegate.m file and add this code in this method to get notification a setting is finished so let's see the dark dot file I already made this object to use Firebase message and get text field get text from text field we have to get token from device so click this button and you can see this print so you can copy and paste to android similar string because we have to send message to device it's identifier this code for request ios notification for permission but android is doesn't need ios device is also click get token button and copy this token string and paste ios device string and i will see the user interface the design this button get the token using firebase message object and this code is get text from send message you can see the controller then this code to make the both button to send a message when click this button to this method but before do it you need a server token from your firebase console so go to the project setting and click cloud message you can see your server key so copy and paste to Fluto project and this call to send a message using the token so i get the token from previous source i change this code the body then add a token where you want to send after that the text field is made empty that's it it's just simple setting cloud message thank you for watching video please subscribe and like it thank you bye bye